Hi there, this is Ash with Shishi Design. I wanted to do a quick video to show you how to seal your chalkboard um, design on, on the chalkboard. So, this is a wood chalkboard surface and um, it is not sealed yet, so if I touched it, it would smear off and it would basically erase. So, to make this a permanent design, I'm going to get my matte finish. There's lots of different brands out there. Um, this one's Craylon, but uh, Rust-Oleum has them. There's more expensive ones in the art department. Um, this you can find um, at Walmart in the spray paint section, or Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's will have them as well, but they're usually more expensive there. Um, uh, so just, you know, have a coupon ready if you want to buy them at the craft stores. So all you're looking for is matte finish. It doesn't matter the brand. As long as it says it's a matte finish, it should work exactly the same as all the different brands um, available. So you want to shake it up. Okay. Make sure you have a ventilated area outside um, or windows open because it does smell. But once it's dry, it does not put off an order. So don't worry about it smelling up your chalkboard or having your chalkboard smell up your house. Um, so then what you're going to do is you want to do a continuous spray because if you stop in one section, um, it will spray too much and it can... Um, take off more chalk than what you want it to, okay? So you want to give it a good coat, but you don't want to put too much because it will, it will absorb all the chalk and then maybe your chalk will start to disappear, okay? So you want to start off a corner. I usually go um, back and forth first, all the way down, and then I stop and then I do the uh, opposite direction, back and forth as well, okay? So I start by spraying off of the board and I just continuous, uh, continuous spray, do not lift your finger all the way down. And again, don't stop, just make it a smooth approach. You can always go back if you need to, but if you stop in one spot, it can affect your design, okay? So start spraying off, go back and forth. I'm about eight inches away, all the way down. Okay, then stop. And I'm gonna now I'm gonna go um, the opposite direction, same way, same idea. Okay, that's it. Two coats. So you're gonna have areas that look lighter than others. The reason for that is it just kind of depends on how much chalk was in this, um, the chalk surface to begin with. Um, and if you are worried that you didn't get an area well enough, because this kind of so you can see this area kind of looks like I missed it, but it really isn't smearing much. Um, it dries within a few seconds, and so once it's dry, then you can take um, your cloth, okay, and I kind of like the chalk look, so I'll kind of rub some chalk back in to the design because the spray kind of takes it away. But if you like the really dark contrast, then you don't have to add more chalk if you don't want to, okay? Um, but then when you rub it, it should be completely sealed. You might still have some chalk that comes off, but that's fine. It still has that rustic chalkboard look without, you don't have to use chalkboard markers. You can still use chalk and it looks really, really nice. So that is how you seal your design. If you guys have any questions, please comment. I'm here to help. So happy chalking.